Woods Nightmares is less than a week away. And we are checking out everything that has been confirmed to be coming to Woods Nightmares of 2023. No theories, no myths, just facts. If you guys do enjoy this video, please consider using my supporter creator code on screen. I don't usually promote it, but I'm trying to prove to my friends that people actually do support me. So yo, help a brother out. The arrival of the Halloween Eclipse has officially been confirmed to be coming to the game. In the trailer of season four, we see that the Eclipse is what causes the vampires to arrive to our Fortnite game. And as this Fortnite Mares is a vampire season, we should expect to see the Eclipse arrive into our game, literally in the next update, filling our skies with dark and of course, vampires. When you log into next week's Fortnite Mares update, check the sky for this spooky new change. Speaking of Halloween, the return of Zombie Chickens has been confirmed for this year. Zombie Chickens made an appearance in last year's Fortnite Mares, but this time it's different. We are in chapter four. So for the first time ever, Zombie Chickens will be clucking their way around our chapter four island. And that's pretty terrifying. Kato Thorn is expected to be upgraded in this Halloween update to boss Reverend Kato Thorn, who will be a vampire with a unique flying animation and will also be sucking players' as hell by casting this unique special ability. Players have discovered this animation of Kato Thorn in his final vampire form, flying around, as well as with a strange special animation. An animation called Life Drain has been discovered, leading players to believe he will be able to suck players' HP and to heal himself when players fight him in the game. Last time in Fortnite, we saw a life-draining ability. It was all the way back in Chapter 2, when boss Raz was added to our game. An effect that damaged players and healed Raz was used in the game. And it seems that the game was using this ability once again, except with a flying space vampire, which we know is Kato Thorn. This Fortnite Mares' theme is Vampire Hunting, and Kato is Team Vampire. So, who is on Team Hunter? A new Fortnite Mares NPC called Shimmer Dust was recently added into game, and she seems to be the leader of this Team Hunter. Shimmer Dust is apparently a monster hunter, and she is out to take down Kato Thorn. According to her NPC description, she has traveled across space and time to find Kato Thorn, and is now preparing to face him. But when you you talk to Shimadusk normally, she says, Kato Thorn isn't getting away from me this time. Damn, those are some spooky red eyes you got there. But before we transform ourselves into Kato Thorn and interact with Shimadusk, she says, Brave of you to talk to me in the open. You really think you're untouchable, don't you? Shimadusk looks pretty spooky to me. That's not as spooky as the first look at Shadow Meow Souls. There is secret dialogue in our game suggesting that a Halloween Shadow Meow Souls is coming to our game. Think it's uncovered what this might actually look like as this early concept has been released online. Shadow Meow Souls seems to relate to Shadow Midas that we had all the way back in Ford's Nightmares. Midas's revenge. So Shadow Meow Souls actually coming this Ford's Nightmares of 2023. But it seems so. Ford's Nightmares' new mythics have already been confirmed. And let's just say they might be the coolest items that Epic has ever added to Ford's Night. A new vampire hunting shot Shotgun has been found in the game's files, and it seems to be the perfect tool to taking down some vampires. The vampire shotgun has been confirmed to have four clip sizes, a four second reload time, shoots one pellet at a time, and deals 92 damage and 161 damage with headshots. We can also see from posts online by leakers regarding the weapon's details that it will have a common variant as well as a mythic variant, which confirms that it is, yes, going to be a new mythic item in game. With the vampire shotgun only shooting once before it needs reloading, there is some speculation that this will be some kind of anti-vampire shotgun. Everyone knows the only way to defeat a vampire is by using a stake and a hammer. If you've seen any vampire films, you guys know what I'm talking about. It is possible that this vampire shotgun will be shooting stakes one at a time. Stakes are a large wooden spike that is intended to defeat a vampire. A stake shooting one-shot vampire weapon seems to 
to be what this shotgun will be. And it turns out it's in Fortnite right now. Switching sides, Kato's vampire katana blade has been found in the game's files, suggesting that Team Vampire will also have their own mythic. The vampire katana has been added into game. The vampire katana was first seen in the trailer for chapter 4 of season 2. The vampire katana seems to be a buffed kinetic blade, which solely belongs to Kato Thorn. Textures in the game's files have been uncovered, showing some kind of electric effect that will be added to the blade, which is why it is such a special blade. The kinetic blade was removed at the end of Fortnite's Mega and was literally never seen again. Well, this was until now, because we will soon be celebrating the arrival of this awesome item back into Fortnite. Two mythics that seem to be for two different sides, one for helping the vampires and one for slaying them. So after all, it might actually be possible that a vampire versus hunters themed Fortnite Nightmares is coming to our game. Hey, yo, let me know in the comments section which team you guys would be on. Team Vampire or Team Hunter? Let me know. We are expecting to find these mythics either by defeating Kato Thorn or by finding them inside these cases, which will be upgraded for Fortnite Nightmares of 2023. When the update goes live, make sure you check them out. Creepy new outfits have already been confirmed, like Pensera and her tentacle head has been confirmed to be coming to Fortnite Nightmares. There is a secret Fortnite Nightmares tentacle character coming to our game. Her name is currently unknown, but her face is certainly rememberable. Tentacles wrapped around the top of her face is quite the statement for a Halloween character. And as she is meant to be released in the upcoming Fortnite Nightmares update, could this be the tentacle that Phydra is referring to in this secret dialogue? Yes, her name has finally been confirmed, and it is Pinsera. This is one creepy Halloween character I would not want to see trick or treat anytime soon. Swamp Monster Fish Sticks is being released in this season's Fortnite Nightmares. There are already teasers in-game for the arrival of this terrifying character. I see in your spooky future a murky swamp and something within. Ah uh, yes, that's right. I just slipped into the Fish Sticks outfit and when interacting with this Fortnite Nightmares teaser, he says literally, I see something in your spooky future, a murky swamp. In the game's files, there is a concept outfit for a Swamp Monster Fish Sticks that has been circulating literally for years. Rumors had it that this fish stick swamp outfit would be coming in this Fort Nightmares of this season. And it seems, with Love Ranger informing us that he sees a spooky future, a murky swamp with something within. This special piece of dialogue is only for fish sticks. Which means, yeah, this terrifying fish sticks is coming to our game. Fire Monster Love Ranger has also been confirmed to be coming this Fort Nightmares, as his outfit has been uncovered in the Fortnite skin surveys, as well as teasers in our game right now, in which the Love Ranger teases that a burnt up Fort Nightmares version of himself is actually coming to the game. His literal secret dialogue tells us that he is soon to change, and this is the outfit in game that presumably will arrive in Fort Nightmares of 2023. If there's anything we've missed that is supposed to be coming to Fort Nightmares of 2023, hey yo, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll try and fit it in in a new video. Thanks guys, peace.